Well, how you doing everyone? My name is Joe and you're watching Safari Joe's Adventures. Today I'm going to do a DIY. I'm going to turn this file cabinet into a smoker. I have seen a few YouTube videos on how to turn a smoker into a file cabinet. Really? I have seen a few videos on YouTube on how to turn a file cabinet into a smoker. Uh, there's a lot of good ideas out there. I've looked at a few of them. I've kind of have some ideas of my own. I'm going to go ahead and take it out to my shop. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to take a measurement about 12 and 3 quarter inches. I'm going to put me a straight line down so I have center and drill my holes. Well, I want to stay down the top of the drawer down about an inch and a half from each one of these top three doors. Make sure your bit's tight. The hole is a little larger than quarter inch, so I've got myself this expandable drill bit. I'm gonna make it to the right size. After you have the holes drilled, pull your cabinet drawer open, check them for fit, and there you have it. One of the other things you're going to want to do with these cabinets, pull them out, lift up on them, and they come right out. The cabinet guide you see here has got plastic wheels on it. You're not going to want to leave those in there. It's going to burn out and not be usable anyway. All you have to do is raise up on this, pull them out, and your cabinet doors will go back in just fine. Top three drawers are the only drawers that need to have holes drilled in it. The bottom one's going to have a flat bottom because it'll be your firebox. Now there's a couple of different ways to open up the bottom of these drawers so smoke can get all through there. Some people will cut the bottom out and leave the edges in and put a wire mesh or expanded metal in there. That's one way of doing it, but sometimes you'll lose the rigidity of the actual cabinet. What I'm going to do is take my step bit and drill a series of holes, probably about 18 holes in the bottom of this, in the top three cabinets. And that way as the smoke comes out of the bottom cabinet, it'll rise up through the other three and be able to get inside. I have some grates that I will be setting in here to keep it off the cabinet. It may be easier to set it on a workbench. Just make sure that uh, you have some blocking underneath so you don't drill through into your workbench. got the pilot holes drilled I'm going to take my step drill bit and go through and open those up now if you're OCD and you want to take exact measurements you go right ahead I don't think the smoke really cares whether your holes are exact or not we're getting down to the last cabinet drawer I've just got to open these holes up a little bit bigger I pulled the locking mechanism out I'm going to drill a hole that's to run a meat probe to got myself a flange and I also have a piece of pipe. I have taken the coupon that I cut out of this and I had ground it down, smoothed it out, filed it off and made it so it'll fit inside the pipe. I've got the chimney welded and painted. Now it's complete. All I got to do is put it on the smoker. On the bottom drawer that's used for the firebox, we're going to take and drill a hole through it right in the front here, big enough that I can run a cord through to put one of those electric heat plates inside this. You can put gas in there, or you could put something to contain wood, and you can put wood chips and burn wood chips in the bottom of this for smoking. Now 
Now I want to be able to take and cover this hole, be able to adjust the amount of air that gets in and out of this. That'll help also adjust the temperature. These are the dividers that was inside the drawers. I cut them out and I'm going to take a piece of this metal, cut it out and make a cover for this. You can see that I just built three of these out of some scrap metal from the inside of the cabinet file divider. We'll be sticking a bolt in there. I can open these for the thermometer or just leave them set. The holes are drilled. I've got the edges of them deburred. The bottom cabinet does not have any holes in it. You can set this up for wood, gas, or electric. The other thing that you can do is you can put a smoke generator in there for cold smoking. The way a smoke generator works, you fill this chamber with wood chips that are fine like sawdust right below the top of this steel rim. If it goes over the top, the flame can actually jump it. And what you want to do is you put a little tea candle under this lit and it'll start burning and you'll see just a little dime size piece that's burning on this. Once it's burning, you can pull that candle out of there and this will just take its time and burn all the way through this thing and they burn very slow. But this is used for cold smoking. If you're doing hams or bacon or something that's already cured, you start this up, put it on the bottom shelf, and it will just smoke. Okay, I've got this out in my backyard. Pretty much finished. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a fire going inside this firebox so I can burn the paint out of the inside of the cabinet. That way we don't get paint fumes inside the food we're smoking. I'm burning the paint out of the inside of the file cabinet smoke. Well, good morning. Now that we have the smoker complete, it's time to put it to use and see how it works. These grates I chose because they fit inside the cabinets. I picked them all up at a thrift store. I've got a couple of different pans. I can put charcoal in, pellets on it. We have it smoking. I have apple chips in the bottom doing their magic. Well, it appears to be doing its job. Man, somebody's going to enjoy this. Oh, yeah. There we go. We transferred all that golden goodness out of the smoker and I have two trays of it. This tray here is just regular smoke. This tray here, I put a apricot glaze on it and let it smoke for an extra 35 40 minutes. You know, I'm really gonna hate having to do this to y'all. I'm just gonna have to try a piece to see if it was even worth the effort. I built the smoker to smoke things, but I gotta try it out. This is, this is, mm. I can't even joke about this stuff. Man, if you had smell of vision it'd be great. taste of vision would be even better. This is good. Anyway, sorry you're not here to share it with me, but I'm sure Glenda's gonna be happy. The reason this type of smoker would be great at an off-grid cabin or an efficient shack, even in your backyard, it's designed to run on anything, and they're fairly inexpensive to build. That was my whole premise behind building it out of a file cam. Have any comments or any recipes? Leave them in the uh, remarks. If you like this uh, content, please like and subscribe. You'll get notifications if you ring the little bell every time I put a new video up. Mm. Just can't get past that stuff. Thank you for watching and God bless.